As inflation rises globally, consumers are forced to not only stretch the coin but also make extra earnings to meet growing needs. In the Central African Republic capital of Bangui, people, teenagers and adults alike are turning to the black market that promises higher profits for the sale of fuel. And here, any container works. Be it cans, glass, plastic bottles, pipes, funnels, anything goes. Fuel shortage provides fertile ground for their business and no wonder many traders will be found near fuel stations. Such black market vendors end up being considered heroes during fuel shortage. Without us, most motorists cannot travel around the country today because there is no fuel at the stations. We are the only ones who have it. We have our own secret places where we get our fuel and we make sure we don't run out. Because of the fuel shortage, I have to buy the fuel from the street vendors. This allows me to continue my activities to support my family. But uncontrolled sale of petroleum products is not without risks. In the inner city environs of the capital and the suburbs, there have been several cases of fires reported. Similarly, motorists who use this fuel every day complain about the quality of the product and the long queues before being served. The fuel has had a negative impact on our vehicles. We often have problems starting our engines because of the poor quality of the fuel. Frankly, the government should find a solution to this problem. You know, petroleum products are strategic products that must be handled with great safety. The poor storage of these products has caused fires in recent times and many families have been bereaved. We believe that the government is working and has already started by suspending the fraudulent importation of fuel. We also need to sensitize the population not to engage in this smuggling. People must trust the structures authorized to sell such fuel such as gas stations. It is in these places that they can go and get good fuel. The Central African Republic is one of the poorest countries in the world and some observers fear that the oil crisis will further affect the country's economy. The fuel crisis has had an unprecedented impact on our country's economy. It does not benefit the state, which needs financial means for its operation and the financing of certain projects. This crisis has also led to a rise in public transport prices over the last while. Meanwhile, the Central African Petroleum Storage Company recorded a decrease of more than $4.8 million in its turnover in 2022. Beryl Oro, CGTN.